A warm good morning to all my dear students of Sri Gokulam Public School. This is Nida Ma'am with you and I welcome you heartily to my English online class. How are my darlings doing? I hope you are all staying safe at home. If you are reading the newspapers and watching the news, I think there is still hope for us as the vaccinations are on almost on the last round many of the countries have just started giving vaccines to the frontline workers that is the health workers and the doctors hopefully we can start 2021 with a light at the end of the tunnel i believe that we won't have to wait for long to go back to our wonderful lives that we had before 2020 so with that note let me just begin today's class in today's class we are going to discuss yet another writing topic debate in the previous class i have taught you how to write a speech the similar kind of format is also used for debate so there is not much difference while you are writing a speech and a debate now children while i was going through a few of the review test papers that I had received I noticed that some of you have not followed the format correctly now first of all let me just revise on the format of how to write a speech or a debate I had repeatedly told you the important points to remember but still let me just refresh your knowledge on the format of a speech or a debate. So here there is a format for you. So first of all what do you start? You start off with the heading or the title which is in the center of the page. Followed by your name and class below that. Okay, in the second line you have to write your name or class. So first line is the title of the speech or the debate that you are going to give followed by your name and the class. Both of it will be written in the center of your paper. Okay. Then you start with the introduction. Children introduction or the greeting is very very important. So how do you write the greeting? Greeting means it's simply but that you are wishing the people over there good morning to one and all present here, a warm good morning to all or a simple good morning to all. So I had given you some ways how you can start the greeting in your previous class. Please refer to those lines. Okay, so good morning to everyone present here. That line is very, very important. Then in, along with that, you have to introduce yourself and the topic in the first line. So that is very important for that marks are there. Okay, so good morning to all present here. I am Neeta from class 11A. I am going to talk on the topic and mention the name of the topic Three sentences very important without that you cannot start a speech or a debate. So you have in given the introduction. The next is you are expressing your views on the topic. Then that will be divided into paragraph wise. Last you have to give the conclusion. The conclusion should be solution for the problem or you are giving any advice or a message that conclusion part is also mentioned at the end of the speech then the last line is thanking the audience that is another point which i noticed that the children have missed in your writing okay so that a simple thank you or thank you all for listening to my speech that one line should be mentioned over there. Greeting should be mentioned. Thank you should be mentioned. Both are very, very important. Okay. So that format of the speech or a debate, I hope you have understood. Now let me just move into the specifics of how to write a debate. Okay, my dear children, let me just explain to you what a debate is. Debate is a discussion that is made on a common topic.
topic okay so it would be about a topic which would be having some controversial opinions okay if you are having one opinion about a thing then there is no need for a debate for it so this would be a topic which would have some controversial ideas there might be people who are approving it and there are people who are disapproving it so a topic so such a topic is brought under discussion so that you know we people can be able to find out the best solution for that topic now there are many many topics that can be discussed or you know any topic can be put under that kind of a debate for example you can say like uniforms should be compulsory in school whether it should be made compulsory or whether it should not be made compulsory uh, that's a topic for for discussion discipline corporal punishment whether children should be given punishment or whether children should not be given punishment then on a general uh, any social any laws that has any new laws that the government has brought into practice whether that law should be implemented or should not be implemented so like that many many topics are there children should be allowed to watch television or should not be allowed to watch television many topics are there so here when you are discussing it we, the people are telling the points on it and the best solution of out of it is brought i'm sure you know what a debate is okay so this when you are so when you are presenting or writing a debate in your exam first and foremost thing to remember is that you can you have to choose whether you are for the topic or against the topic okay so whatever topic is given in the question you have to decide on whether you are going to speak for the topic or whether you are going to speak against the topic that is solely and completely your own choice is it clear children you cannot mix both the ideas together and write in your exam like you say you start off by telling that uh, some good things about the topic and then in between you change your idea and and you say some disadvantages about it no you cannot do like that if it is written like that your answer will be marked as completely wrong and no marks will be given for it zero marks will be there okay so you have to say either you are going in for the topic for example if the topic is children should be allowed to use mobile phones now you are want to say that children should be allowed to use or should not be allowed to use that is your choice if you say that they should be allowed to use then you have to speak completely on the advantages of using a mobile phone if you are against the topic then you have to go completely and say that children should not be allowed to use mobile phones and the disadvantages you have to write so either advantages or disadvantages any one only you can write so uh, i hope that point is very clear to you you can choose only for or against and you have to start off your debate on that now let me just get into the specifics of writing a debate how do you write a debate so like i said first of all you start off with the title the title is given there in the question so the same title you can use in your examination so that title you will write in the center of the page below that you will write your name and class in the second line that is also in the center of the page then you start off with the greeting the greeting could be respected principal honorable chief guest respected teachers my dear fellow students good morning to everyone or good morning to all the dignitaries in the dais any way you can start but the greeting should be there very very important then the next line is you you are introducing yourself so you have to say your name and class in the next line okay then the third line in the speech how do you say in the speech you are introducing or you are giving the topic 
here when you are writing the debate you have to say whether you are for the topic or you are against the topic so very specifically in the introduction itself in the third line you will say i am for the topic and the name of the topic you will write or you will say i am going to speak against the topic and you will give the name of the topic is it clear my children three lines your introduction greeting self introduction and then the third is your opinion whether you are for the topic or against the topic these three lines are a must in your introduction then you are going into the body of the debate now what is the body of the debate body of the debate are your arguments for the topic the under discussion so if you are for the topic then you have to say what are the advantages of it so your arguments for it if you are against the topic then you have to give your arguments discussing the disadvantages of it so it should come in a paragraph wise each argument or each argument that you are giving you have to explain one or two lines on that and you can put it up as paragraph like you can put it up in paragraph format ideally they should be three or four paragraphs as the content of the debate okay now now children just look at this these are the lines that you can start off your arguments with okay it is true that and you can give an advantage about it there is no denying the fact that these are some lines that you can use for your topic okay so you can say that i am afraid may i ask my worthy opponent how on earth so this is a debate no so you are arguing with someone so you have to imagine that someone has already told the advantages or disadvantages so, and you are standing there to prove him or her as wrong so you are opposing that person's idea so you can imagine that my worthy opponent has told this i want to say this so that is an imagination that you are putting over there your answer can be an advantage or a disadvantage under discussion but you you can say that my worthy opponent has already told this um, my worthy opponent has argued that my worthy opponent has put on the idea that and then you can say that my opinion is this i fail to understand my opponent's view that some more examples are here i will put this in your notes so that you you can learn it more examples are there everyone present here will have to agree with me that uh, have we ever given it a serious thought questions you can sir it's a conversation so you can ask questions over there perhaps he has quite conveniently forgotten that again you are trying to have an argument with your opponent so my dear children there are so many contents uh, so many lines given over here i would suggest you just by heart 10 of these uh, sentences okay any 10 of the sentences you want you just learn it on your own and you can use them in, in your debate answer okay so many sentences are there so this is how you put forth your arguments in a debate so like i said ideally three or four paragraphs you can put your arguments develop your ideas it should come in an order sequential order should be there ideas should be very clear and logical kind of things please do not come out with any imaginative or any uh, fanciful ideas logical serious sensible kind of ideas should be put over there so after that you come with a conclusion how do you put in the conclusion here conclusion also there are some sentences how you can end your uh, debate with so i am of the view that therefore i whole heartedly support or you can say i whole heartedly reject either way you can put it okay thus i have established that i would like to conclude by saying that so like that conclusions you can put 
uh, then along with the conclusion also you have to give some solutions for the problem any topic which is given for debate or speech the final paragraph should be a solution you can put one or two solutions i am not asking you to come out with four or five solutions but one or two solutions should be put in your conclusion paragraph conclude it with two or three lines which is a summing up of the main idea and then you end your debate with a thank you i thank the audience for listening to my talk i thank the audience for sparing your time like that one sentence or simply write a thank you but a thank you should be mentioned over there very very important so this is how you conclude your debate is it very clear the main points of a debate next we will just go through a sample debate copy so here it is the sample debate copy the topic given is television is a boon so you write the topic television is a boon and you write your name and class below it then you start with the salutation or the greeting respected chairman respected chairperson honorable judges members of the staff and friends i stand here that is your opening line before that you have to put your name and class okay that is also important i stand here today to support the motion so here it is supporting so support if you if you are against it you can say that i am against the motion you can also say that i am for the motion or against the motion television is a boon that is your opening statement your introduction here they have given a quotation if you want you can write a quotation or some catchy lines or titles or slogans or anything okay that will add more to your marks then your argument so what is the first argument first argument is that television provides information on topics such as science medicine geography and so on that is the first argument here it is just the main points i am discussing so only one line is there so when you are putting that argument what are you supposed to do you have to explain what kind of informations are provided on science medicine and geography how how information is provided all those things three or four lines explanation should be given for that argument second argument it also offers entertainment suited to all taste and ages people can enjoy music or dance while they watch their favorite programs second argument it is it will come as your second paragraph explain that point okay every point that you are writing you have to explain it then uh, countering opponents so that is what i said you are while you are giving your ideas you have to also imagine that you are opposing the ideas of what your opponent has said okay i fail to understand why my worthy opponent feel that television is mindless in fact the very same television they have been so vehemently uh, condemning has given us greater awareness of people from around the globe so he is opposing it so he is he has imagined that his te- opponent told that television is useless so he is asking how can that person say that television is useless television has given us a greater impact or a greater awareness of the people around the globe then my final argument is that television has brought people closer both in family and from from around the globe that is last line again explanation on the topic then finally you can conclude by telling that i conclude with the words here a quotation is given not necessary that a quotation should be given if you can think about a quotation a proverb or a catchy di- dialogues very very good it will add on to your marks even if you don't have a quotation you can properly conclude by telling that i would like to conclude my talk by saying this or uh, by pointing out the main points so you can refer to any one or two main points in your uh, talk and then you can conclude by by saying that and finally a thank you which is a must okay so that is it so that is how you are writing a debate for your examination very important topic 
please refer to the format and the points discussed clearly listen to this video more than two times so that you get an idea about how to write a debate very important it is a long answer question you can score full marks in this don't think that because it is a long answer question whatever rubbish you write in it will be given marks no my children nothing of that sort is going to happen if rubbish is written we strike it off and put zero marks that's it nothing more than that so please listen to the video more than two times write down the important points and be clear on how to write a debate i want all of you to attempt your review question and send me your answers i find that there are only few regular children who are attempting the review questions which is not appreciated or supported please i want all of you to write the review test so with this i'm concluding today's class till we meet again in the next class this is farewell from nida ma'am have a wonderful day and be good children thank you